Hey everyone, it's Brandy and you're watching Abstract Crafter. Today's video, we're going to do the unboxing of the Aurora Snow Valley. So if you're curious to see what I got, what my thoughts are on it, then just keep on watching and we will get into that as soon as we roll those intro credits. Well, hello friends. I got my Sophie and Toffee unboxing today. I know you guys really wanted to see an unboxing and the project, but I gotta be honest with you, I am 100% overwhelmed and I have no idea what to do with this project. I need to watch some tutorials and then I'm just gonna come back and do one massive Sophie and Toffee project haul because I sure, I'm sure I can't be the only one that if you don't know what to do, you just set the box aside and just kind of wait for some tutorials to pop up. At least that's me. But that's why it's already been cut open because I was not going to do, I was going to do a project. I had every intention of doing the project. But once everything was said and done, I got incredibly overwhelmed and I'm like, I'm in over my head. You know, I'm so new to resin crafting that when I look at the stuff, I'm not sure what to do with it, to be honest. Not to say that I'm going to stop resin crafting because I do want to learn. And I think that's what's great about Sophie and Toffee is that you get the opportunity to learn new stuff with resin in particular. So, I mean, I've only done very little resin crafting. And from the little bit that I've done, I, I'm head over heels in love with it. So, let's just get into it. You can give me some tips and tricks down below. I am waiting for some tutorials to come out so that I can do my own project for you guys. And I will try to get that up ASAP. So it'll just be like a three for elves box project video. I'll do the angels potion. I'll do some of the bezels and the charm, the like silicone mold of the little twin stars. And then I'll do a project from here, maybe even two because from what I've seen, this looks amazing. But let's just get into it. So I left everything in the box, just the way I found it. And I don't know if everyone got the same animal, but I got this cute little dolphin. Look at him. And I know what I want to do with the supplies. I just don't know how to do it yet. So, so then you get, sorry for the crinkling. Let's just get it over with, yeah. Eh? I swear, I'm not from Canada. I'm from Wisconsin. So, the first little mold that you get is this square mold. And, I mean, like I said, I'm going to guess. There's like a little piece of plastic in there. I mean, I guess what you use all this for. But, and I'm actually going to take, I want to open this dolphin and take a peek at this one too. I was actually kind of hoping to get a polar bear. I don't know why I thought we would. I actually didn't think we would get a dolphin at all. I don't know why. Nothing really gave me that impression. But here's the cute little dolphin. And before anybody says anything, I just moved into a new house. My nails look like crap because my nail kit, I have a giant nail kit and I can't find it. It's still boxed away. So just forgive the nails. I'm a crafter for crying out loud. I'm not supposed to have nice nails. <laughs> And my voice is going, and I have no idea why. But yes, here's the dolphin for ever holding that. So then when you get into this, and I don't want to take this stuff out, because this is stuff for that USB kit. And again, I think... Oh, sorry, I'm. this is a new camera angle. Also, excuses, excuses, I know. Uh, and I'm not used to it. I'm used to the down, like, straight down view. I have a lot more, like... I don't know. I'm more aware of my space, so forgive me. But I do believe that, like, this is, like, a stopper to save the area for this to be plugged in because all your data is actually just stored inside this metal. And then I'm guessing that's the top for the mold itself. And then this is actually... We got a little syringe because we did... Uh, this little card here did say that we were going to be getting a needle syringe, which I've been looking forward to getting for a long time. I just never knew where to buy one, I guess. 
So we got that for the USB, which is the project I really want to do with you guys. So then the resin we got is crystal epoxy resin, and it's a two-part, and we got 100 grams of that, 50 grams in each bottle. So, and I, I think that's just gorgeous. I love the look of that on the bottle. It looks so sophisticated. So we got our epoxy, which we did get some last time too, but it wasn't like crystal epoxy. So it was, a, I think it was a little bit different. So and then we also, the last little bag is these like, I think they call them bales. Let me look at, let's look at my cheat sheet. Oh yeah, blank bales. So I'm not really sure that's what I mean. I don't know what to do with this stuff. Also, I don't get the premium box. So those are the things that you would get if you got the premium box, which is the LED UV gloss seal in eight grams, which is made in Japan, and the Aurora pig pigment, pigment, Aurora pigment dye set made in Japan, which is really cute. But honestly, I didn't think that that was worth the upgrade this month. Some months it is. I just, I, I don't know enough about this craft yet to know, to think that that's a good deal. I guess if that makes sense. So if I have offended you, I'm so sorry, and you got the premium box. It was probably worth it for you. I am almost sure of that. So let's just kind of dump everything into the box, and we'll just kind of look at things one by one and go from there. Oh, or I'm just going to throw things around. Okay, so the most boring thing, not really, because it's exciting to me, but we got our syringe. And that pink piece just pops right into that. So it's not really boring, but in the grand scheme of things, you know what I mean. So, and I did end up, one of my glitters did kind of shed. And you can kind of see a little bit in there. That's easy enough to wipe away. So I'm guessing that I make this mold and then I put it inside of here and fill that up. I think that sounds right to me, but who knows? I Like I said, I got to watch some tutorials because then we also got a mini one with a variety of different mountains and textures. And I'm guessing that this is the USB one and then this is the USB mold. I'm guessing. See, again, I don't know how to make any of this stuff. So I have no idea. Like... Does that cap go in there to leave space? I don't know. And I really want to know because it makes me excited to have that. And if it works out, I want to make more. We we do use USBs quite a bit. But then here is another box. And it does tell you how deep it is, which is nice. Because right here, it does say that the small mold is two centimeters and the big one is five centimeters, right? I don't think one's any bigger than that. And they call them mountain silicone molds, which is going to come in handy for a lot of stuff. So again, I'm guessing because this is the USB, so I'm guessing you make that and stick it into there. And then same with these, you make these first and then stick them in into this and as you can see if this was you know the thing your mounds would be inside but on the bottom you know obviously it would be like sitting in the box like this and then you'd put the clear resin on top see I don't know that's where I need some tutorials I mean I'm pretty sure that's what you do but I really don't want to waste that's a lot it's a lot to waste if I'm wrong. So, but then look at these beautiful glitters. We got a black star glitter. Like you can see bigger stars in there. And then we got just a regular hollow with stars. So we got the silver and the black. And look at, look at my camera actually do them justice. I hope that picks up well in editing. But those are just amazing. So I'm really excited to add more glitters to my collection and the thing that I love most is that they're nail art glitters that just makes me so happy because I have such a supply of these and then the two things that went flying are glow-in-the-dark pigment powders 
Um, the only thing I don't like is that they're in these non-resealable bags. So I'm going to transfer them myself. But you get a green glow in the dark and a white glow in the dark. So that's pretty exciting. So now I have more pigments to add to my collection. And then you also get this little 10 gram of UV resin in white. And I'm guessing there's somebody saying that they you can make waves with it. And again, that's something I need to watch a tutorial for. But then I, we also get a black transparent clear pigment dye. So I'm very happy to add yet another color to my collection and a colored resin. So that's this month's Aurora Valley Elves box. Um, and I will, the next month, I promise I will do the project with the unboxing. No if ands, or buts about it, it will be done. I will not let you down again. So, I mean, we got a nice selection of silicone molds, I think, this time around. I mean, I like bezels, don't get me wrong, but I also like these for other crafts. It's nice to have a nice selection of silicone molds in your collection in general. So there's the rest of the USB. I don't, again, I think maybe these would be like air bubbles or bubbles in the water or something. That's my guess. And then the pigments, your glitters, the black and the silver, your black dye, your white UV resin, your whittled dolphin. And I just have so many cute ideas for that. And then your two-part crystal epoxy resin. And your syringe. So yay, that's a uh, that's August's Elves box, the Aurora Snow Valley. The next month's theme I'm so excited for. If you don't want spoilers, all I'm gonna do is show the theme. So just like skip ahead ten seconds or whatever. But the next month's theme is dun -da -da -da. And I can't wait. Halloween kitties. I'm so excited. I love cats. So, And I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday. Sorry you're hearing me pick up garbage. But it is my absolute favorite holiday. So after that box we'll have to see if I continue with the subscription. I probably will. But who's to say for sure right now. But with that I'm going to let you go. Stay tuned for the upcoming video. It'll probably be a long one. But We'll have at least three projects of all Sophie and Toffee Elves Box projects. So we'll have three of them, maybe four, depending on how fast I get through them. But with that, I'm going to let you go. Have an awesome day, friends. Have fun crafting. Have fun doing whatever it is that makes you happy. I love you, friends, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.